Uh, today I have James here. Uh, he is he's a, he's a welder. You're working on uh, Rams sta Stadium, right? Yes. Rams did really well. He's not a Rams fan, so he doesn't know what uh, how the Rams are doing. But you have to finish by September, yeah. right? Oh, but you you did your job already. Yes. You you finished welding. Yes. Now what are they doing now? They're they're bringing um, other trades. Other trades like the plumbing, plumbing electrical, electrical, all that other stuff that has to come in. Stuff, yeah. And they have a deadline in September. So he walks about, how, how, long, how much do you walk? Seven miles. About seven miles a day. He's up and down the ladders in your, in your steel toe boots. Yes. Really the rigid boots, right? He's got corns on the little toes and he's got corns right here on the big toes. These are really painful, like as you can see here. And he's got some on the heels too, which we're going to grind them down as well. So these toes are a very common problem. This little toe right here is a very common problem because it's the construction of the shoes. Shoes are constructed where it has a very sharp angle, like, like this, and it pushes against this toe so that toe doesn't sit straight like this, which is where it should sit, but it sits like that. And because of that, it, it causes friction, rubbing, and then your, your toe is trying to protect itself by building callus around it. And then it becomes painful because it's so thick, obviously, but it also causes a deep-seated corn inside. Something like this, uh, we can keep trimming down every so often. We can do that. That's an option. If you cannot have surgery or don't want surgery at this time, then we keep doing that. But we're going to reach a point, James is healthy and is young enough to have this fixed permanently so he doesn't have to come see me all the time. I know he likes me and we get along, but we don't want to see each other too often. So what we do is we do a surgery to uh, remove this, and then we take part of this bone out, and then that shortens the toe, and it straightens the toe this way so that it doesn't rub against your shoes. So, so that's kind of the ultimate option so that this doesn't become a problem uh, constantly. So, so what are you going to be doing? Just taking it easy until the next job? Yes, yeah, so I already got a couple offers. Uh -huh. West Hollywood, Clover City, LAX. What are you doing? Like a building stuff? Like a yeah, they did groundbreaking in LAX like three weeks ago. The other ones are a couple of hotels. What What are they building at LAX? Uh, they're building another terminal. Oh, really? Yeah. Where? Is there a space? Oh, yeah. Oh, really? Oh, yes. Oh, so they're expanding constantly, huh? Yeah. They have a lot of investors. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Everybody wants a piece of LA right now. Oh, yeah. Well, LAX is, I go to uh, other cities and they have like brand new airports, you know? Oh, yeah. And it's so efficient. The uh, luggage just get there before you do. And everything's automated. I went to Denver uh, mm -hmm. last year to visit my brother-in-law. And the uh, airport was amazing. Like, oh, it was just beautiful. It was huge. And then the, all, everything is done electronically where all your luggage is there waiting for me. As soon as I walked out there, it was all like sorted out because uh, you know people don't do that anymore. You know everything's all electronically done, mm -hmm. so it was really nice too. So that's a big project. So that's that's what you're waiting to do next. Uh, uh, so tell me your experience about building uh, Ram Stadium. How how's that and compared to other projects? And because they went to Super Bowl last year, so everybody's kind of interested in Rams, right? Yeah. I know you're not, but you're not a Rams fan. Uh, if you get to go up, that's like a journeyman. Uh -huh. It's uh, only like you're at the highest peak when you go to stadiums mm -hmm. or like um, a 70, anything over 70 feet, mm -hmm. story building. Mm -hmm. Those are things you want under your belt. Oh, so that's what you do. Yeah. So higher you go to do your welding, more skilled you are, obviously. So yes. you kind of work yourself up to that. Yes. Oh, I didn't realize that. Wow. So that's kind of dangerous, no? You're going uh, up in the height, you're, doing you're stuff. Uh, you're, you're chained up, and then obviously you don't have the height issues. No, I'm not scared of heights. Yeah. Well, I am. Because <laughs> yeah. you're carrying all your tools. Oh, you got your tools too. Yeah. Oh. Your harness, everything. We don't see that though, huh? No, it's like you got an extra 40 pounds. Oh, it's, 40 pounds? Yeah, you wow. have to be um, strong. Wow. You strong have have and balanced. Feet. And yeah. balanced. Oh, they need good feet. Yeah. So you guys all have... Um, I'm going to go to the big toe now. You have to be able to walk on an IV. So is there some kind of test on you? You guys okay? Or because it's a liability, you know, somebody falls, it's a big problem. The first is scared the heights test. Oh, is that right? Yeah, double ladder. Uh-huh. What's the uh, double ladder? It's the one that extends up. 
like oh yeah yeah they're long ones yeah so you have to climb that yeah and then and just carry out your tools that's how you start realizing and then you go to the i-beams and there's tests where you have to climb the actual i-beam uh-huh like you walk you put your foot inside and you have to like pull your weight oh wow against the beam 40 pounds pretty heavy oh well, that's just your tools uh-huh and your tool belt or your harness and all that wow and then that that's like the beginning test yes if you fail that it's over you, you do you do ground level uh welding then you can <laughs> right yeah but yeah welding like you have all kinds of welders and then some people like to me i've been fabricating for a long time so mm -hmm. i don't think the client or the customer really cares how good i need to weld mm -hmm. as long as it's lacd certified possible mm -hmm. because i think everybody wants to see a whole co cohesive piece oh yeah and, yeah yeah and people go to the store, they want to see all this. They don't want to see a weld here, a weld there. Right. They want it one piece. Yes. Yeah, that's kind of important, huh? Yeah. And so, then, um, so there's a lot of things like that that are going on, like in procedures, SOPs. Like, hey, uh -huh. you know what? This was done in the 70s, 80s. You know, this is the way it looks better now. Yeah. Kind of thing. Cause so you got to kind of get, get up to date, too, with the new, new technology, mm -hmm. new way of doing things. Well, I think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're telling them that, you know. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't be showing that to the uh, Tell me about Ram Stadium. How does it look? Have, have you done any other stadiums in the past? No, first one. First one? Mm -hmm. Okay, so was it was it a difficult project? Is it like a dome shaped one like the other uh, like stadiums? Um, like a, it, it kind of juts out like from the top? I think it looks like the one from um, Seattle. Seattle, yeah, I've never. Like, is that a Superdome? Or, uh, yeah. Really? Yeah. It, 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 it's open though, right? It's not. It it's open. Oh, okay. How many, uh, how many people like seats in there? Do I think they? it's like 95. Oh, 95,000? Wow. That's going to be one of the bigger ones. Oh, yeah. Because I know, I know Rose Bowl is about 90,000. Oh, no. This is bigger than the Cowboys. Oh, is that right? Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah, more expensive. Wow. Well, that's crazy, huh? Yeah. So how long was that project that uh, you did, What you, whatever you did? The company, I was, well, they were there on eight months. Oh, eight months? Wow. Yeah. And so prior, the... Prior to that was an erector company. Electric company? Erector. Oh, erector, the, the, the big beams and main big structures, scale. huh? Yeah. And then, and then it started like a year ago then, at least, huh? Yeah, two years ago. Oh, two years ago. Yeah. Wow. So they've been at this for a while. I love to go see a game there. Oh I'm, yeah, they give yeah. away tickets too. Yeah, mm -hmm. so more people to come, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, they oh. went to Super Bowl, so they're gonna have a lot more people come like this coming year, huh? Yeah, I think they're already selling the suites. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Oh wow. That's what I was working at. I was doing all the. Actually, I was doing all the uh, seismic plates for the earthquakes. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Those are some big beams, though, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna. Could you get this foot down here, like? Show people what's happening. So how big were those beams? Those are big beams, huh? Big beams, huge. So how do you, the crane kind of gets it up there and then you, you uh, weld it, or? Uh, they, pos the, they position it, they lock it in, and whatever we need to weld, we weld. Uh -huh. But there's like four cranes over there. Oh, is that right? Yeah, huge. So how many people like it on a, on a, like a single beam? Like multiple of you guys work on it? Wow, I can't wait to, to see it. Huh? Yeah. And then they got, they're going to make uh, clippers. Uh, the clippers, they're going to get one too. Oh, clippers going to get their own uh, little, like a form, like a thing? Yeah, like a staple center. Uh huh. Yeah. Where's that one? In Inglewood. Oh, Inglewood. Wow. That's going to be busy around that area. Yeah, and they're going to build, and then they have, you know, they're going to have to build hotels because the people are going to come. From all over, huh? Yeah, they're going to start to spend the weekend. Oh, so the big hotel chain is going to be right next to it, huh? Yeah. Wow. The growing Congress. As if we don't have enough traffic, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be congested right there. Yeah. Is it near uh, 105 or uh, yeah. 710? Right off the 105. Right off 105 and between? Perry. Century and yeah, Century and Perry. Oh, yeah. Right there, on uh, that's they're that's fixing all the roads. Oh, they are right now. Mm -hmm. They're expanding it, like mm -hmm. uh, oh wow. That's Freeways. There's a lot of companies that do um the con you know how like the seats they have concrete. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Made. Yeah. 
those companies are everybody there's so much work in construction right now yeah it's not gonna end yeah in las vegas too what's we going have, in vegas um, what are they building like, there like um what do you call those guys another dispatch hall in las vegas mm -hmm. and you know las vegas is always full of money yeah they do have a lot of funds yeah and they got the raider stadium over there I'll, oh yeah I'll, I'll, I'll go do they are they building the raider stadium right yeah. now or though they are running out of steel and everything one time. Oh, wow. They so let they're... everybody out for a week. Uh-huh. And then uh, they came over here, but they crawled right back. Uh-huh. So, no, they're still here. Wow. Because they can't have people standing around. Right. That's crazy. A lot of building going on. Yeah. More traffic for all Hotels. of us. Hotels. Yeah. Yeah. So you may yeah, go to I'm Vegas, gonna... too? You may want to go to Vegas? It's kind of... Yeah. It's kind of out there. Oh, you would go? Yeah, my kids... Uh, Get bigger. Uh -huh. My house over there and Arizona. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Arizona's growing too. Yeah. Yeah. The oh, really? in the, this part. Oh, right here, huh? You must have a little corn in there. Doesn't look that deep though. Like you know, I think we talked about getting some supports for you. You're using it. Yeah. Okay. Is it is it good? Is it helping? Yeah, but I think it's like because like I started using them. Like uh -huh. you said, like I think. Little by little, yeah? yeah have to get used to it. I started using them full blown, and then it started getting like lower and lower and lower. Already? Yeah. Oh, I want to see it. You need to bring it next time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is it is it good? Is it helping? Yeah, but I think it's like, because like, I started using them, like uh. you said, like, I think. Little by little, yeah? have yeah, to get used to it. I started using them full blown, and then it started getting like lower and lower and lower. Already? Yeah. Oh, I want to see it. You need to bring it next time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna grind these down. Well, I think like they need to be uh, improved. Hmm? Like, like adjust the surgery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes we need to adjust the orthotics uh, uh, properly. Some people can't tolerate too much arch, uh -huh. then we need to lower it. Some people, need, some people need more arch, then we need to give you more. So you need, you need some uh, adjustments. So bring it next time, okay? Yeah. So your your supports. I have a question. What about like right there, like where you're grinding right now? Uh huh. To make that go away permanently. Yeah. What we can do, do. We can do that too. We can smooth down the bones. We can smooth down the bones where it won't come back. Oh, okay. So all of it at once. So yeah, you just it. do it all at once. Yeah, get it all fixed so that it'd be good. It'd be it'd be about two months, three months. You being really active, maybe two and a half, three months. Because you got more work to do now. Yeah. Yeah. But definitely these little toes definitely need to uh, fix permanently because you're too young to have this Probably. constantly bugging you, you know? Oh, yeah. And I want to start like, uh, like uh, going to the gym. Uh-huh. I can't go to the gym with my feet hurting like that. Huh? I can't go to the gym with my feet hurt. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you can't do much. Well, you're on your feet all the time, so you definitely need more more help you know yeah. and get it i say get it fixed permanently take some time off you know in between your job yeah. and just get it fixed permanently so that it's, it's done and you don't have to keep coming back for uh, the briding you know your calluses so i think that'd be good yeah yeah that's uh, painful huh yeah Okay.